Hey, this is another video in a series on the Lambert W function. If you haven't seen the introduction, I'll provide a link in the description that will also have a link to the full playlist. So let's get started with this problem. We have x to the x to the seventh equals two. And the thing we notice is that in the past when we did problems like this, I think I didn't um, want x to the x to the fifth equals five, but because this exponent and this value on the right hand side are different, it's gonna make it a little more difficult and that's why we're gonna use the Lambert W function on this problem. So to start with, what I wanna do is we'll take the natural log on both sides. So we'll have natural log x to the x to the seventh equals natural log of two. And then we'll take our exponent and bring it up front. So we'll have x to the seventh ln x equals ln two. And our strategy in doing this the whole time is what we were aiming for. We'd like to get it in this form on the right here, where we have the coefficient and exponent the same around e. And then we can reduce it this way. But the problem we have, we don't have an e in this problem, but we can create that. We'll take this actually and we can rewrite this. So we'll bring our ln x over here and we'll write x to the seventh as e ln x to the seventh. Noticing if you cancel e and ln, we get back our x to the seventh. Here what I wanna do is let's just bring this seven up front here. So we'll have it seven ln x. Then at this point, we notice that our coefficient here and our exponent are really actually pretty close. We want them to be the same though, we need them to be exact. So what we can do is we can multiply both sides by seven in order to have them be exact, but we have to do it on the right side as well. So now we see that our values in red are exactly the same. So it matches exactly this format. If we could do like, we could do like a U substitution. If we call this U, then we would output the same U. So what we can do now is take the Lambert W function on both sides. So we'll take it here on the left and we'll take it on the right. And then this is gonna just output our red value. So we'll have seven ln x. <laughs> Guess which pens I'm not good at it. Seven ln x is gonna equal Lambert W seven ln two. We just wanna solve for x, so we'll divide a seven on both sides, right? That'll cancel. Then we'll just um, use this property of the natural log to rewrite this as x to the e Lambert W seven ln two. And I'm gonna take this one seventh, I'm just gonna write it as a radical, as a seventh root. And then we notice, like I've mentioned before, that this value is a little difficult to calculate because we don't have a Lambert W button on our calculator, but we can use a computer. We could use um, Wolfram Alpha or other programs. And so I did that and I got for this expression approximately 1.205738. So from this problem, how do we know that there's not other solutions? We can do a few things. And one thing I like to do is let's just look at the graph of uh, these functions. So if we look at the graph of, if we look at the graph of x to the x to the seventh, it looks almost flat and then it shoots up. So it's almost like a, um, it almost creates like a rectangle or something. It's like almost a right, it's almost like a 90 degree angle there, but it's not. And if we look like y equals two, we'll be right through here. And so this function x to the x to the seventh is actually not always increasing, but it is increasing uh, in this area. <clears throat> But what I want to do specifically is look at this part, just look at this piece of the Lambert W function to see if we could have other real solutions. So the Lambert W function seven of seven ln two, seven ln two is actually two to the seven. If we, if we bring this back, this is actually the same thing as ln 128. Not that we needed to do this to calculate it because you could just calculate it like this, but I don't know, I kind of like it better this way. All we really need to know is that ln 128 is positive but just for the sake of argument, this is approximately 4.85. So let's say it's right here. So we see on the Lambert W function, everything to the right of zero, all these points here have just one real solution because there's just one intersection point here. If we were in the negative point, negative area here, we'd end up with two real solutions. This here goes to negative one over E. So we're gonna have just the one real solution for this problem. And that's it. I got this prompt for my quiz, Lambert W Challenge. I'll put a link in the description. Hope you check that out. Thanks for watching.